Well, he is blessed with talent. Inherited from his grandfather, Jason Coleman, has been playing piano since he could barely reach the keys. That is right. He was taught by the best legendary keyboardist, Floyd Kramer. <laughs> Music is in their blood. We are so excited to have you here today. Yes. Yeah, so glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. You have yes. so much going on, including a TV show. We're just so glad that you have the time to hang <laughs> out with us. Hey, you're right down the road. I'm a born and raised Nashville Julian, which is rare these days. The so it's unicorn. nice to come down the road and yeah. spend some time with y'all. Super excited to have you. <laughs> but before we jump into questions, because we have lots of them, I want people to take a listen as to how talented you are. Let's take a listen. <laughs> To that all day. <laughs> no, I just want to s set the set the pace here. Okay, his grandfather's work can be heard on Elvis records, Patsy Cline's famous song Crazy, and then he went on to perform this like distinct style of um, performing. It's called Slipknot. That's when you took over. You mastered that, and now you're playing sold out shows in honor of your grandfather. Talk about that. Well, sure. Music and family to me have always just gone hand in hand. I was 12 when he passed away. That's been 25 years ago now, but before then he and I were very close and I was playing piano at a, I mean, as long as I can remember and he was there to help me out with it. And so really since he has passed away, it's been amazing for me to see how many people still love his music and love that style and not just Floyd Kramer, but you can hear him on Elvis and Patsy Cline, Roy Orbison, the list goes on and on and on. And so it's, it's been really just fun for me to get to do my part to keep his signature kind of style alive through whatever I, I play as well. I think it is so cool. And I think what is also cool is that your granddad is not only in the Country Music Hall of Fame, but also the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And now you're headlining the Musician Spotlight at the Country Music Hall of Fame. That's so cool. Talk about this upcoming performance. Yeah, it's, I'm excited. Always, uh, whenever I get to visit the Country Music Hall of Fame here in Nashville, it's a treat because they, they do such an amazing job of honoring these incredible legends like my grandfather. And so, yeah, on September 3rd, the Sunday of Labor Day weekend, I'll be joining a friend of mine, Megan Taylor, who is the great niece of the great Chet Atkins, the guitar player. Uh, and we're going to do a, a little homage to my granddad and her great uncle and all the Nashville sound that they were a part of. And wow. So I think that... It, it, I think it's <laughs> I think it's free for anybody to come on that afternoon on Sunday the third uh, with your museum tickets. So you can come check out the museum and come to our performance as well right uh, here in Nashville. I mean, and you again, you have so much going on. You have a TV show and a radio show. Your TV show on its 100th episode. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. How did you get into that? Well, I think like most really good plans, it happened by accident, honestly. Back at the start of when the pandemic shut everything down, on a Sunday afternoon, I got on my phone and did Facebook Live and just played some songs from my piano at home. We were all shut in, had nowhere to go. And so I thought, you know, all of my touring had gotten you know, put on ice. And so I thought, what can I do? And just played some songs and then did it the next week and the next week. And so that's been three and a half years now. And we call it the Jason Coleman show, but it really is about not just me. It's about uh, my whole family gets involved and, and it's about bringing new life to all this music from all different eras. And, and still we've upgraded the gear a little bit over the last three years, but it's still very much uh, just a sort of DIY, do-it-yourself uh, little TV show that we pull up from my house. And it airs on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, WSM Radio here in town has picked it up on Sunday nights, which is amazing. The home of the Grand Ole Opry is carrying the show. And then next month, I'll be partnering with Country Road TV, who if folks have watched Larry's Country Diner or all the old country reunion shows, uh, they're going to be carrying the Jason Coleman show as well. So it's been really amazing just to sort of see how something that started really out of a dark time, you know, uh, was was a huge silver lining, and it's still just it's it's been amazing to sort of see that come to life and wow. bringing joy to people. I Absolutely. mean, people love the show. Now, is it true that your grandfather would be flown out to Michael Jackson's family gatherings? <laughs> that he was a popular guest? How did you hear about that? Yeah, you know, there are Floyd Kramer fans far and wide, and even even folks like I believe it was Michael Jackson's mother, Catherine, who. Loved Floyd Kramer, and I think it was in the, it was right before I was born in the in the early 80s. 
Uh, he got a call, my granddad from, from the Jackson family, and they were having a surprise party for Mrs. Jackson for her birthday. And so he flew out to, I guess it was the Neverland Ranch, and performed right there, <laughs> accompanying Michael to sing a couple of old country wow. standards for, uh, for their mom. So it's, that's what's amazing to me is to see just, he had fans all over the place, no matter who you were, you heard that sound and you heard that style and it was, it was Floyd Kramer. And, and so it's, it's fun for me to get to do what I can to yeah. keep it alive too. Absolutely, you are living out his legacy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, my friend. And congrats on all of the success. Oh, thank wow. you, thank you. You can follow Jason Coleman and his latest projects online. Visit jasoncolemanmusic.com.